Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Welcome. Hallelujah. We bless you. Glory, glory. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. Yes. Hallelujah. You are worthy, worthy, yes. worthy to receive glory. You, you are worthy to receive all of our blessings. And we bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Thank you. Your glory. Hallelujah. For this time that you have called us into. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We share this again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your airways, O God. Hallelujah. That there would be no interference, O God, in our signal, Lord, that our signal is strong for tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. That your word may go forth. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you to this month's Converge. Hallelujah. A time of worship. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. A time of the word and a time of prayer. Hallelujah. For truly, we have been in a time of, of, of learning and we have been in a time of hearing what it is that the Lord is saying. And so on tonight, we have a particular uh, theme that the Lord has given us, something that is called for us to um, tap into on tonight. And we want to um, go forth in that. We want to go forth in it on tonight. We want to share with you what we have been learning. Uh, last month, we were in a training with um, my apostle, uh, Dr. Yolanda Powell, uh, with Invasion uh, Broken Crown. And in that particular training, we had um, some scriptures that we were looking at. And one of those scriptures would be in Isaiah 28. And we're going to go there tonight. We're going to spend just a little bit of time in the word so that I can put us on a trajectory of how we got to our topic a couple weeks ago being together for our our study time afterwards and so i'm going to go to isaiah chapter 28 and we're going to look at verse one and then verses three through six and good evening good evening welcome so isaiah chapter 28 verse one it says woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valleys, to those who are overcome with wine. We go down to verse three through six. It says, the crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, will be trampled underfoot. And the glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valley, like the first fruit before summer, which an observer sees. He eats it up while it is still in his hand. In that day, the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. And one of the things that we began to take a look at um, when we came together for a time of recap, you know, oftentimes we, we, we eat so much and we just get fat and we're not really digesting and truly getting an understanding of how to apply the word of applying the things that we have learned and one of the things when it comes to um, prayer and when it comes to intercession 
Um, God is always stretching us. And this is a time where God is truly stretching the intercessors, um, where he is allowing us to not only see what is happening now to address the issues for now, but to also look at what is to come and to begin to give us blueprint and strategy on how to pray for not only what we're going through now, but for things to come, to prepare us for things that are to come. And so as we were taking a look in and we were going through um, the scripture and we were taking a look at uh, some of the words, uh, one of the things that began to uh, stood out to us was about God's justice and the righteousness how we cry out. That is our responsibility as the people of God, as people who pray that we are to pray for God's justice and we are to pray for his righteousness. So we cannot allow ourselves to become um, distracted by what we see with our natural eyes. We have to fix our eyes upon uh, upon Christ and know what he has already done. So our focus is truly that on what has already been done for us and that which we possess and not necessarily on what the enemy is doing because we already have a promise. We already have a future and a hope that God has given us. And so we have to be reminded of that in these times when we're talking about prayer and when we're talking about interceding, when we're talking about getting and delving into the word and what God is saying, what is he speaking to us for this present time? And one of the things that began to, uh, uh, um, I, I do word studies, I love to do word studies. And one of the words that really began to stick out to us was this word mm -hmm. pride. It was the word pride. And I want to have us go to first John, first uh, John chapter two. So first John chapter two, and we're going to start um, at verse nine through 17, but I'm going to really focus in on verse 16. So first John chapter two. And this is the King James that I'm reading. It says, he who is who is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his namesake. I write to you, fathers, my God, because you have known him who is from the beginnings. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. Oops, I think I skipped one. Verse 15. Excuse me, verse 14. I write, I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. Verse 15, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. And the world is passing <clears throat> away and the lust of it. But who does the will of God abides forever. And as we begin to take a look at these words, at this particular passage, we are in a time where everything that has been shaken, that can be shaken, has been shaken. Mm -hmm. We are in a time where everything 
is open and it is laid bare. We are living in a time where as God's people, that we have the responsibility to cry out for righteousness and for justice. We, as God's people, have the right and the authority to yeah. cry out for righteousness and his justice. We have the right to judge the systems of this world. Yes. And so that's, that's not God. Mm -hmm. And so as God began to, to speak, two things popped out greed for money mm -hmm. and greed for power yeah. but what is our response as people who pray what is our response and as i begin to take a look at um this word pride mm -hmm. in verse 7 in verse 16 I want to take a look at that, at that word pride, because it completely blew our minds on that night. Yeah. Because oftentimes we think that pride is just, you know, someone that's just being boastful. Right. But oh, oh, oh no. Pride is empty, braggart talk. Mm -hmm. It is an insolent and insurance which trust in its own power and resources and shamefully despises and violates divine laws and human rights. Wow. Pride is an impi impious and empty presumption which trusts in the stability of earthly things. And so when we began to look at that, I thought, my God, my God, pride, this thing, pride, it is, it shamefully, I want us to really hear mm -hmm. that, it shamefully despises and violates mm. divine laws My God. and human rights. Mm. Pride. And so when we were looking at that, it just, I just had to just stop. And I want my panelists, I'm sorry, I got so <laughs> into what we were doing. I did not even announce um, my sisters on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's okay. We have uh with us, uh oh. We have Tara, my sister Tara. Hold on, let me put Kingdom back in. <laughs> and we have Kina. Let me put their names up here. I just got so excited. <laughs> That's okay. At what the Lord is doing, what he is saying to us. Listen, I did. I got I got so I got excited. I'm, I'm sorry. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> but this is what the Lord began to speak mm -hmm. to us. And it literally it, it, it took us mm -hmm. somewhere because is this not what yeah. we see? Is this not what we are seeing in the world? Are we not seeing that? Uh, and the Bible tells us in that verse 16 that for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, it is not of the Father. It. It's of this world. Mm -hmm. So we are, we have to, listen, there is a, a, a line that has been drawn mm -hmm. in the sand. Yeah. Are you just going to be church and religious? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to be the church and kingdom? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is a line that has been that's been drawn. Are we going to truly enter into the manifestation of the kingdom of God? Amen. Because there's a difference. Amen. There's a difference. And so I want to just open up, and we, we are gonna pray, mm -hmm. but I want to open up this discussion um, to, to my to my sisters to just begin to share what 
um, what God has been speaking to you all. Um, we can start with Tara. What has God been speaking to you concerning um, this particular passage? Um, because we are going somewhere mm -hmm. on tonight um, because God has clearly called for us to address this problem yeah. called racism. Come on, racism. We cannot expect for things to change in the world when we deal with the same thing hey. in the church, when we deal with the same things hey. that are in the body. So we got to hey. clean our own house. We've got to sweep mm -hmm. our own door. And so out of this, what God began to show us, and, and I'm going to, to let um, Tara just go ahead and take us a little bit deeper, but we're talking about, we're talking about racism mm -hmm. on tonight. We're talking about uh, God's justice and his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. So go ahead, talk. On mute. You're on mute. Hold on. That is a, a there you powerful, go. That is a powerful scripture. And it just made me think about the civil rights movement in the 1960s and how uh, Rev, the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was fighting for justice in the community. And he said, I have a dream for people all over this world to, to join hands no matter what color they mm -hmm. are, no matter what um, ethnic, ethnicity they are, no matter what gender they are, and love one another. And that's mm -hmm. in God's word, to love mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. But what really um, stood out for me for this and when we're thinking about the word and we're thinking about pride, because I thought it was like haughty, you know, mm -hmm. uh, before we got to this study, like, hey, I'm prideful. I'm holding my head up. I'm just going to keep walking and mm -hmm. ignore you. But this goes so much deeper mm -hmm. when we think about it denies. There's a denial of human rights. Mm -hmm. So let's think about that in the midst of our country as we go through these uncertain times with COVID-19. All right. So denial of health care rights of some people. Yes, you may be admitted into the hospital, but are you getting the same care as somebody else with health insurance? Mm -hmm. Now, if you now just let's take this a little bit deeper now. And when you go into the hospital and you look like my sisters and I, mm -hmm. are you getting the same kind of treatment and care? And then let's take it a little bit further than that. What if you didn't have a family member that was up there calling or checking on you every day. Yeah. What what would they do? Because this is a new um this is a new strain that's out. And mm -hmm. there's no cure, right? Well, they say there's no cure. Um and sometimes experiments can take place. And we know historically for the black community when we think about mm -hmm. the Tuskegee experiment there was, a, there was an experiment that was done on our community to test some products so to use for the, the whole world. Yeah. So let's just break this mm -hmm. down. Pride equaling humanity, right? Denying humanity, just your humane rights, just in healthcare alone and how that impacts you. Now, let's look at it from another angle. When we're thinking about healthcare, we're thinking about sickness and illness in the body, Let's think of let's take it to another level and look at it in the the concept of work environment. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. That that is a whole nother area that it takes. Think about the psychological impact that one has working in an environment where someone says you're different, so I'm gonna treat you different. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have the same access. So we're talking about equality. And we're talking about inequity. Mm -hmm. right? So when you're thinking about equality, it's okay. I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. I'm going to give everybody got the stimulus, right? And everybody mm -hmm. got certain amounts. But we do know that every single family in this country has a different situation in their mm -hmm. life. And even though mm -hmm. that dollar amount is to alleviate some of that pain, it still did not alleviate the, the pain. So that's where the inequity comes in because everybody is not standing on the same stool. So just imagine standing at a fence and you're trying to watch a baseball game. I'm short, I'm five two, 
but you know, I have a brother who's like almost six foot. If he's standing there and I'm standing there, I can't see. Right. So I need a little bit more help. I need a boost to get up. There. Mm-hmm. Right. So when we think about pride, it lives in the internal systems in society. Yes. Not just in our health Come on. or workplaces. Mm-hmm. So how do we change this? How do we turn this around? Right. And one of the ways that we mm-hmm. turn around is with um, awareness, is with love and understanding that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus. God sent him, right? Yeah. God sent him. Mm-hmm. I, I'm saying that over mm-hmm. and over again because God sent him. Yes. Right? Because he loved us unconditionally mm-hmm. to walk the earth and feel what we feel as yes. people. So he can understand. Mm -hmm. what Mm -hmm. really means Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he felt it he died for us he bled for us and he rose again Mm -hmm. and he lives today so how can we manifest that here manifesting god's kingdom from heaven onto earth that is what we're called to do as intercessors and Mm -hmm. um that's just a little bit. I don't want to take up too much time, but mm-hmm. that was what God was speaking to me, how we have to come together in unity and we have to stop being separate. We have to be one in the body of Christ, mm-hmm. despite what has been given to us as a systematic structure. And let me just tell you one more thing. This just popped mm-hmm. in my head. When we think about race, it is a social mm-hmm. construction. You want to know what I mean by that? It has been something that was created by man. This was not created by God. Man created uh, a division between race to say, okay, if you live over in this particular area of a country and you have brown skin, they started creating different stories. And so that's how we get black. That's how we get African-American. That's how we get white. Come on. We Caucasian, Mm -hmm. right? Then we get Asian. Right. Then we break it down from there. And you have Chinese, you have Japanese and there's stereotypes that have been developed around our cultures that have disenfranchised all of us and separated us because we're fighting for what? We're fighting for power. Power Come in on. the world that we don't even need to even fight for that power, because guess what? God already gave us the authority and power with Jesus. And mm-hmm. so yes, he did. We're in the world fighting on the world's level, and we need to be in the spiritual realm because God has already said, You are a co inheritor with Christ. You know what that means? That right. every promise in the Bible, God has promised. He said, You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm-hmm. He said, This is your land. He said that when Joshua went into the promise, yeah. land, and he said, I'm I'm afraid. I don't know. God said three times in that verse, Joshua one and um, one and nine. I think I'm going to look it up for you. But one and nine. And he said, be strong and courageous. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a promise. Mm-hmm. And we have to manifest God's promises. A promise. Come in on. The kingdom here yes. on earth. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I got excited. But come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I, it's just like, yeah. all right, God, just come on, speak to us tonight because this mm-hmm. is some good stuff. Mm-hmm. And if we can understand that there's over yes. 8,000 promises in the Bible that relate to who we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He made a covenant with Abraham. Come on. Yes, right. And that covenant extends through all of our bloodlines. Yes. Guess what? We descendants of yes. the bloodline of mm-hmm. David. Yes. And you know what that means? David was out in the uh-huh. in the in the field when they came to look for him. They didn't know that who they were looking for, but they looked at all the brothers that were fine with stature and strength and they looked like they could be a king, right? What they looked like when David was out tending to the sheep. They, right. And the father was like, oh, oh he's he's nothing. But mm-hmm. then they, when they went to go get David, they said he's the one. That's right. Guess what? We are the ones. Yes. We are the ones. 
We are the ones that are to take the mantle and to run with it. And mm-hmm. this is the time, whether we are in these uncertain times right now mm-hmm. in this season with COVID-19, we are being distracted by mm-hmm. what the enemy is trying to tell us. And we're mm-hmm. not looking that the mantle has fallen. Come on. And we need to pick up the mantle that God has given us and run with it. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm like, yes, I'm right. come on not, not only the man, the mantle, but we, we have to put our crown mm-hmm. on. We have to get our scepter because, listen, you know, you, you know what we was taught, right? Mm-hmm. We 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 in our single position mm-hmm. <laughs> where we rule, <laughs> where we where we, where we <laughs> and we say what God says. Not looking at what we are seeing with our physical eyes, mm-hmm. no. not coming into agreement with what we're seeing with our physical eyes. But what does God's word say? What does his promises yes. say? Yes. That's how we execute and we manifest heaven on earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's so good. That is so good, Tom. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kena. Yes, ma'am. What is the Lord speaking? What what is he speaking? To? I'm going to try to glean uh, <laughs> and pick out of what y'all haven't already said. Uh, so we do know we all on the same page. Glory to God. Um, I got to try to figure out something to say because everything has been said. But I will say this, and both of y'all really kind of touched on it. Uh, the word that you said that stuck out to me, Shelby, was responsibility. It's our responsibility. That was one. Mm-hmm. And then Tara bringing back that human, um, talking about the human rights aspect of pride and and all of that, how subtle the adversary is. And it makes me think of some uh, racist groups have that word in it, which is by, it's not a mistake. Mm-hmm. Now that I've gotten the definition of it, they're acting out mm-hmm. that word. That word is in there and they are literally mm-hmm. portraying that word, even down to the human rights aspects mm-hmm. of it. But anyway, I want to read this scripture. Um, <laughs> this is in John's. 1921. Okay. And it says, I pray that they will all be one, mm-hmm. just as you and I are one. Come on. As you are in me, Father, yes. and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. Mm-hmm. So when you said that it starts in the the church the judge it starts in the church so I, mm-hmm. the lord is saying this is jesus talking we i want y'all to be one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. father our, our father I one mm-hmm. i don't understand how well i understand is the trick of the adversary but it's written right here in the word of god it is mm-hmm. written right here in the word of god I heard a minister say yesterday, mm-hmm. and it just it, it took me to a no a no a whole nother place. He said that the Lord desires us; we are His children. And he said, mm-hmm. "What father wants to see mm-hmm. his children at odds with each other?" Starts mm-hmm. in the, the tr- what father mm-hmm. wants to see his children fighting? When they sitting down at a table and eating, what father wants to see his children reveling? They have no unity whatsoever. So if we Mm -hmm. we look at it in terms of kingdom and if we look at it in terms of responsibility, Mm -hmm. we would almost have to put our feelings to the side to go after God's heart as it relates to unity. So when you oh, said that responsibility, come on. that stuck out to me like a sore thumb. It is our responsibility mm-hmm. to name the name of the Lord, the kingdom. It is our responsibility to set this in motion. This thing with racism, we can't mm-hmm. blame and stuff. I'm going to say this. I'm so tired of hearing the, the us, I'm going to say us, talk about the world, this, the world, that, the world's doing this. The, the world is doing what the world does. So we got to do what we supposed to do. Thank you. Come on now. <laughs> everybody. Yeah. That's everybody. Now, we, we mm-hmm. do need to cry out whatever. And I thank God because I know we're, we're going to get into prayer 
that we do need to cry out. And the Lord commanded that we be about justice and judgment. It's a commandment in the word of God. So how is right. it that our senior leaders across, and I'm not talking about within an ethnic church. I mean, all the church is a body, the bride. Mm -hmm. How do we not speak it's out about injustice? How do we not express, or how do we not say what the word says about mm -hmm. injustice? Plain and simple. You don't have to take it personal. You ain't got to pick mm -hmm. sides. Pick the word. Mm -hmm. Just pick the word. Pick the word. <laughs> yeah, pick the word. Pick the word. Pick the word. Yes. So it's simple. <laughs> so it it isn't. I, I've heard lot, and I ain't gonna even get into that. Hallelujah. But I <laughs> I I just I feel like we need to return to what the Father desires of us. And he told mm -hmm. us right there in John 17 mm -hmm. and 21 that y'all be one. Y'all be one. Mm -hmm. one like uh, the father and I are one and that you will be one within me. Within me. So if we don't take mm -hmm. responsibility, mm -hmm. everybody. I don't want to hear about no black on black crime. I don't want to hear that. Oh, injustice is injustice, oh. period, across the board. Mm -hmm. To name some other, it, it, it doesn't make sense. That's not how you answer a problem. We answer it through the word of God, but we all have to be willing participants in moving towards kingdom principles and being kingdom minded. Mm -hmm. So if we, yes. if we yes. our minds back to the word and what the Lord mm -hmm. desires of mm -hmm. us, as his yeah. bride. And then even yeah. Paul, when he was talking to the Corinthians, he said, is there division in Christ? Mm -hmm. There's no division. Ah. This, this is Paul the Corinthians. Yeah. Is there yeah. division <laughs> in Christ? So I just, I, I'm thanking the Lord mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. because I believe this is where that revival is going to be ushered in when we all get with one mind and we all mm -hmm. get one accord and we all align, everybody align with the word of God. And mm -hmm. where there is injustice, it is dealt with. Yes. It is not measured by what, yes. the, what, what the world says. What does the Bible say about injustice? What the, yes. We return to the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. We be responsible with the word and we be good stewards over the word of God. Yes. And there's no division. I've never seen a split bride. I ain't never seen a two-headed bride, a three-headed bride. I ain't never seen a four-headed bride. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. And that's not the bride that, mm -hmm. that the Lord is coming for. So I just feel That's like right. if everybody takes responsibility, calls it what it is and measures it by the word of God and do and and we do what the word of God tells us to do, that's the only way we're going to get on on the right course. I'm finished. That's good. My God. Mm. My God. That's it. That I mean that is that is so it is so true. You know, it, it, you know, sometimes I'm just I, I'm just amazed. I'm like, what God, who what who is your God? Like we really have to start. Yes. Sometimes you have to almost question because if it goes against his word, mm -hmm. if you are not crying out for justice and for righteousness, when you know clearly. Mm -hmm that something is wrong yes, yeah and things don't align up but you but you want to put god on it mm -hmm. <laughs> can't do that that's not, that's mm -hmm. not god mm -hmm. what god do you serve the god it is you may have a form of godliness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's 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 a form yeah. and so we have to start asking and truly questioning we can't allow ourselves to come into agreement with things that clearly uh, violate and go against That's his right. nature and his character. Mm -hmm. So if it's not looking like character and the nature of God, mm -hmm. I, have, I have to question mm -hmm. that. Is that God? 
is, is that God? Uh, is, there's still a level of, of, of ignorance that we are walking in mm-hmm. when we do that. Yeah, that's good. I love that. Call it what call mm-hmm. it what it is. We have to call it mm-hmm. what it is. And so, um, my God, I thank you all that are that are here and that have joined us on tonight. You know, we we're we're out here. The Lord has sent us on mm-hmm. on, on on a mission mm-hmm. <laughs> and on an assignment to tap yeah. this demon of, of racism that we see. And we're going to start right here yes. in our own house. Clean mm-hmm. our own house. It starts here. Yes. It starts with us. And, and he's not going to manifest yes. himself That's right. in a dirty vessel. He's not coming to no dirty, unkept house. There are requirements for entering into in, into his presence. There are requirements for, for being his glory carriers in, yes. the, in the earth. And so some things is just a form of godliness. It's not yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. It's not God. It is not God for you to stand up for, for things that are, are clearly wrong, but then place God's name on it. Mm. That is not God. Mm. So what God are you serving? Mm. What God are, are you serving? And so I just, I, I have to just read. I see so many of you um, are coming on tonight. You may be just popping in. But listen, I have to go back and read this this definition of pride. So for yeah. those of you who did not hear in first John chapter two, first John chapter two, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Mm-hmm. And the world is passed away and the lust of it Mm -hmm. so everything that is lusting every lustful every lustful spirit Mm -hmm. is passing away Mm -hmm. but he who does the will of the father abides forever yes abide forever and so this i have to read this definition And, and in fact when we talk about lust, it's, it's, it's desire, it's craving, it's longing, it's a desire for what is forbidden. And oftentimes we don't know what God's desire is because we don't spend enough time in his presence. We don't spend enough time in an intimate place with him in order for him to reveal himself to us. We don't spend enough time in his word. So you can't activate something that you Mm. have ignorance of. You have to know what is right Mm -hmm. and what is righteous. What is just right. Yeah. That way there you won't be desiring the things that are forbidden. Right. Right. Certain things are simply just forbidden because it is not God. Mm -hmm. It is not his character. It is not his nature. It does not bring him glory. Mm -hmm. Yet we want to slap his well, guess what? All of the labels have That's now right. fallen off. Mm-hmm. Lust. Um, what are we lusting after? Mm-hmm. And so we we found on this 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 trail about pride. Mm-hmm. The definition in the in the uh, Greek blew us away. Yeah. Pride, because we think that pride is just oh, you just being boastful. Mm-mm. Pride, again, is empty braggart talk. It is Mm -hmm. an insolent and empty assurance. It's empty. There is no substance Mm -hmm. to pride. Mm -hmm. It it trusts its own power and resources. And this is the part that blows me away. It shamefully despises and violates divine laws and human Mm -hmm. rights. Mm, mm, mm. God, oh, please, thank you. Pride. Shameful. No shame. Ain't no shame in the game. Ain't no shame in the game of a person that operates in a spirit of pride. No. So there's nothing to, we are not just 
despising and violating the rights of others. We are shamefully despi uh, despising and violating the divine laws of God. Oh my God. The divine laws of his kingdom. Mm -hmm. If we don't hear anything else tonight, have an understanding of what pride is and what pride does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And bring us to this place of humility. That's why we got to stay humble. We do. We don't want no, we don't want nothing to do with, with pride at all whatsoever. We mm -hmm. want to stay humble, humble before God. Yes. In all humility. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So that is part of our sharing of the word on, on tonight. And I'm just going to un, un, unleash. Uh, this time of prayer and, and intercession, I'm going to ask Tara if you will go ahead and just uh, get us get us rolling here uh, with what God is is uh, speaking to you uh, to to pray and to enact in the earth on today, and then we'll go to Kina and then I'll bring us on home. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, well, Heavenly Father, we just we thank you because we love you, God, and we just come to you, God, with a contrite heart. A contrary heart before your throne when we sit with humility at your at your feet, God. And we, we say we're sorry. We apologize. Yes. We repent for those things that we have put before you. We repent that we put other gods before you. We repent, Lord God, that we have um, had a religious spirit in the church, yes. Lord God, that we operated without you, Lord God. Forgive us, God. Yes. Our Father, thou in heaven, we thank you. For everything that you are doing in this season, revealing unto us those things that you have called us to do in our lives, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that the manifestation of your kingdom on earth is, is already here. We just have to take a hold of it, Lord God, and walk in the promises that you have called us to, God. We bless your holy name, Lord God, and we thank you that you have given us the armor in the battle, Lord God, that you have given us the shoes shod with peace, that we, everywhere that we walk, Lord God, that we bring in and we usher in peace, God, peace that covers injustice, God, peace that covers pride, peace that covers racism, God, and we thank you, God, because we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Yes. And we thank you for the sword of the spirit that is girded on the right side of us, Lord God, and that we are holding it with our scepter in the left, God. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, God, for your word that lives in us and moves through us, Lord God. And we thank you, God, for the helmet of salvation that we keep our minds stayed and focused on you. Yes. And we know that when we look upon the hills, we know where our help comes from. You, the Lord, strong and mighty God. And we thank you, God, for giving us a breastplate of righteousness yes. that covers our heart, Lord God, that gives us a clean heart, Lord God, that we are risen up in our care for integrity as an example for you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that uh, you have sent your begotten son that we can follow in leadership in his principles. We thank you. We love you. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are covering us in the midst of this battle right now, God. We thank you that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us, God, as you prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. Our cup overflows, God, and there's an overflow that is happening in the land as you are healing this land in this transition, God. Yes, we are shut down in parts of the country, Lord God, but you are doing something. You are turning a tide and you have created a ripple effect, Lord God, for your kingdom them to be brought back here on earth. And we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you are doing in the health um, realm, Lord God, that you are working with the doctors, the nurses, the nursing homes, the patients, and that you are manifesting yourself there on, on, in here in the hospital, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for the angels that have been dispatched in every single patient's room and that they are healing and knitting hearts and healing body and emotions right now, Lord God. Yes. We thank you, God, for everything that you are doing. We thank you, Lord God, that you have given us a place that we are standing as your daughters and sons of the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you, God. Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord God, because we give you the highest praise. Yes. We thank you, God, because we are coming together 
gather under one body of Christ to advocate for your people in healthcare as it relates to racism and discrimination. And we thank you that you have given us a, a, a bold word to proclaim. As we enter, enter in your Holy Spirit, it takes residence in each one of us, God. And that that overflow of the Holy Spirit, Lord, anyone that is connected to us, yes, God. they are doing the same. Yes. And so we enter into your court with thanksgiving and praise. We shout yes. and we make a loud noise, God, because we worship you. And in our yes. worship, Lord God, yes. chains are broken. Yes. Walls are falling yes. down. Barriers are taken away and never risen up again, God. We thank you that no weapon formed against us against us shall prosper. We cancel out every spirit of fear that tries to operate in our communities, God, because you have not given us a spirit of fear. You have given us a spirit of a sound mind, God. We are strong and courageous. Yes. And we bless yes. your name, God, for everything that you are doing for our families yes. and our friends in our yes. community, that we will be one body in Christ, that we will be united with one another. Yes, God. That we will love one another. Yes. That we will care. God, I remember the days growing up as a young child, God, being able to go knock on the door next door and ask for a cup of sugar from our neighbor. Yes, God. Lord God. Thank you for allowing us to get back to those days where we will be able to share our food with one another. That we'll be able to plant gardens in our backyards, God. And that we'll be able to trade uh, with one another. That we'll be able to share those items. That we'll be able to watch each other's children and make sure that they're safe. That when they're walking home from school, if they're catching the bus, God, that they're getting in the house safe. Yes, God. We're turning yes. our hearts back to you. And we thank you, God, because you have your hand yes. on this world, God, yes. that you have it in the palm yes. of your hands. Yes. And you are, are holding us so delicately yes. at this time, God, that yes. it seems like it's turmoil, but there's something happening in the midst of the wind and the fire that you bring, God. Yes. We thank you, God, that you are sharpening us, God. That when we come out of the fire, God, that there's not there's not even a stench, there's not even a smell, God. That there's a new level that we all operate in, God, in your calling. And we thank you, God, that you have set us apart for this time, for a time such as this, because you knew each and every one of us before we were even formed in our mother's womb. Yes. And that formation was unique because we have been set in position so we can be prepared to reap your promises. But yes. more than that, God, we we want to do yes. your will. Yes. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. And we just sit yes. here at your throne, God, and we worship and we adore you, God. Yes. And we love you and we yes. bless your name. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you and we magnify you, God, for this converge, God, and, and Lord, that you have given us a mind and a heart, Lord, to hear what you're saying, God, as it relates, Lord, to, to, to division, Lord, not just in this world, but the division in your body, Lord, that that racism, God, as subtle as it may try to be, Lord, that we thank you that you are even exposing it, God, because you're coming back for a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, God. And Lord, we thank you that the wrinkle, the spot, the blemish of racism, God, is going to be cast out, God, of your bride, Lord. And Lord, that we will be the example, Lord, that we will be one, Lord, and that, that we will be one with you, Lord, so that the world will believe that you came, God. And Lord, that's the whole point. That's the whole purpose, Lord, is that we're falling in alignment to what you're saying, God, that we're falling in alignment to kingdom principles, God, that we're falling in alignment, Lord, to your will, God. And you spoke it very clearly, Lord, that you are a God of justice and of judgment, Lord. And Lord, that you detest a scale Lord, that is not balanced, God. So God, all those systems and all those areas and God, all the industries, God, 
Lord, where there's scales that are not balanced, Lord, where racism, God, Lord, where disenfranchisement, God, anything that would keep one up and one down, Lord, Lord, that you will come against those systems, God, because those systems are direct in opposition to your kingdom, Lord. So, God, they have no right to stand, Lord, they have no right to be erected, they have no right to be in power. So, God, we thank you for the dismantling. Come on. Lord, the destruction, yeah. Lord, the cut yeah. down, Lord, the carrying away, Lord, the burning down of these systems. And Lord, we're not cursing or coming against people, but God, those spirits of racism, God, that we even declare that they be judged, Lord, because they stand in opposition of your word, Lord, that you resist the spirit of pride, God. And so, God, those places God, where pride is ruling, that those altars of pride are burnt down, God. Lord, that they are cast down, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that you have even sent your servants in, Lord, and that we will continue to cry out for justice. And we will continue to cry out, Lord, that your judgment, Lord, is what is made. Lord, and that your righteousness comes in, Lord, like a flood. And Lord, that those, God, as this revival comes in, and Lord, as people come together, Lord, and that we will stand, Lord, in that power, Lord, of your word, God, in that power of unity, Lord, and that we will see these system, God, come down, Lord, but we have to be humble, God. So, God, we ask you to bless yes, God. us, God. Lord, turn us to your Lord. word, Lord. Lord, heal the hurts and the pain of historical oppression, Lord, so that we can see your word, Lord, even beyond the hurt and the pain. And Lord, I even can say myself and admit that it is difficult sometimes Lord, to come to agreement with your word, Lord, when you feel like you've been oppressed and you see people as the enemy. But Lord, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but Lord, those principalities, those oh, powers, Lord, that spiritual wickedness high places. Yeah. So God, we ask that you give us the mind of Christ yeah. Lord, so that we can put in perspective what we need to do, Lord, so that we can move forward. We can move past pain, Mom. God, and we can fight yeah. the good fight, Lord, that we will not be fighting yeah. in fear, that we will not fight in pain, God, that we will not fight, Lord, as a result, Lord, of oppression, God, but we're yeah. going to put on your full armor, Lord, as Dr. Kara said, yeah. God, and we're going to stand against the wiles of the enemy in your armor, yeah. That we don't have to stand in the wilds against the enemy, Lord, in heartbreak and heartache, God. And that we even develop a sense of pride as a result of our hurts and our pain. So, God, we ask that those who have been oppressed, God, that there be a healing in the land, Lord. Lord, that there be a healing in our hearts, God. Lord, even amongst our children, Lord, who have looked upon or I have been trying to make them feel like they were less than. And Lord, as parents, we will protect them and we will put that fight in them. And unfortunately, Lord, we perpetuate that hurt, we perpetuate that fear. But God, we ask you to give us kingdom strategies on how to deal, Lord, and teach our children, Lord, how to fight for justice. Kingdom is kingdom judgment, yes. not justice that the world tells us because it is inferior, Lord, and it will keep yes. us in cycles of bitterness and hate. But God, that we move, God, to kingdom justice and kingdom judgment. And Lord, that's what will be our guide. So God, we thank you and we honor you, Lord, that you will even heal us, God. Heal us from the pain of oppression. Lord, heal us from the pain of racism, God, so that we can stand in your word, Come God. On. Lord, the word that will not be used, yes. Lord. Lord, that we will be on the foundation, on. God, that cannot be shaken, God. Yes. And we thank you for that, Lord, that Come we will on. stand on the principles, God, that nothing can come against this church, Lord, and the gates of hell yes. will not yes. prevail against it. Whatever those gates may bring, they will not prevail. So, God, we thank you, Lord, that you give us the mind and the heart, Lord. Lord, to come against yeah. systems with kingdom principles, God, with kingdom weaponry, Lord, that the Bible is yeah. our Lord, God. And there's Thank nothing wrong with yeah. us coming together with different groups and organizations, Lord, that will put us come in a on. place that we can cry out. But Lord, that we don't forget, Lord, that it is your kingdom, Lord, that is our goal. Lord, is your kingdom coming, your will being done, that is our goal. So God, we thank you that That's we will goal. stand bold and firm in your word. And Lord, that we will use the weapons that you have given us, Lord, to fight against these systems, Lord. 
and that we will plead the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. against these systems. And God, that we will command, Lord, that even the, the generations to come, Lord, that will have that kingdom mind, Lord, that they will storm the gates of pride, they will storm the gates of racism, Lord, that yeah. they will storm the gates of prejudice, God, that they will storm the gates of oppression, yeah. God, and they will bring about, Lord, your kingdom and your reign and your rule. And that's where our prayer should be. So yeah. God, we thank you for the healing that needs to take place. God, we thank you for taking the scales mm -hmm. off of the eyes of leaders who can thank speak you. against thank it. To stand in the judgment and justice, Lord. We thank, thank you, Lord, that you are, yes. even as we're yes. praying, God, that you are bringing yes. those leaders, God, into fruition and you are putting in their hearts and their yes. minds, God, the ways to fight the good fight. Is there mm -hmm. division in Christ? Yes. No. And God, that yes. they will put your principles at the forefront. So God, we thank you. We will not overlook what is going on. We will not overlook the injustices. We will not overlook, Lord, these scales that are not balanced, God, in these different systems, in the medical systems, Lord, in the education system, in all the mountains. We will not overlook it. But God, that we will fight the good fight. We're going to fight the good fight because our victory will be eternal. We will yes. not continue, Lord, to go through these cycles yes. of racism, yes. oppression, Lord, when we fight the good fight. Yes. So, God, we thank you, God, that we will turn Come over on. our weapons, mm -hmm. God, we will turn over our words, and Lord, that we will pick up the sword of yes. your words, we will pick yes. up the shield. Lord, that ah. we will be God with the preparation of the gospel of peace, God. And that is thank how we're you. going to win this battle. And Lord, that our worship will go yeah. before us, Lord. And Lord, that and our worship goes before yeah. us. And we stand in unity and we mm -hmm. unify as one body, Lord, yeah. against this. Mm -hmm. Lord, that as we worship, Lord, that you will set up encampments mm -hmm. and pushments around our enemy. And Lord, that we will see pride fall before yeah. our eyes, God. Mm -hmm. Before our eyes. Yeah, so Lord, we God. thank you, Lord, that you will bring us together in one thank cause, you. and that cause is you. Lord, that you will bring us together in mm -hmm. one mind. And Lord, that one mind is you. And Lord, that we will have it's courage true, and we will have boldness. And Lord, that you will give us wisdom, godly intellect to fight this fight. Lord, that we will no longer pick up what the world yes, tells us is the fight. They don't even understand what the real fight is. And unfortunately, Lord, we've fallen into that. Oh my. So God, we thank you and we repent, Lord, where we have lost Jesus. sight of what we should be doing in the spirit because this is a spiritual battle. Thank you, God. That this is a spiritual battle, God, yes. and we return, Lord, it to you, God, and we turn to you and we come to you. And Lord, we thank you that even in these different organizations, Lord, that you will even put your people in these organizations and God, give them the kingdom perspective of fight. Lord, because this is done yes. and over with at the time of pride, the time of racism is over. But Lord, mm -hmm. we thank you that it's we over. declare that it is over. And yes, Lord, we're not asking it's that over. these different organizations. Lord, we thank you for the NAACP. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you that you put in come the on. hearts and the minds of people to try to come together because that's what wins is the unit. Mm -hmm. But Lord, with added to that, added to those efforts, God, that we ask mm -hmm. that you send kingdom minded people in, Lord, that they can give strategy and they can say what heaven is saying and they can add what heaven has to say, Lord, about their life. And Lord, that because yes. you're engaged in it, Lord, that you will take the toil out of it. Yes, God. So mm -hmm. God, we turn yes. it come on, you. come on. Lord, we thank you that you continue to strengthen these different organizations, Lord, that mm -hmm. are about peace, Lord, that are about equality, Lord, that they are about equity. And God, just put, let's put your people in there too, God. Kingdom mm -hmm. minded people that understand the struggle, mm -hmm. that understand the church, that understands the world, but most importantly, Lord, they understand the word of God. So Lord, we thank you. Come on. We magnify you. you, God, and we ask that you keep filling your intercessors with what is in you. God. And I have to admit, I have to admit, that I yeah. have gone out and in, in out of anger 
that I have acted unseemly and am willing to pick up the world's way of handling issues. And I thank God for this mm -hmm. opportunity to repent. And Lord, I thank you that you're giving me the mind and the understanding that the fight is not with mm -hmm. flesh and blood. So God, we thank you, God, and we thank you for turning us into the direction of victory. Lord, because people have lost their lives, people are tired, Lord, that you will take the toil out of this. And Lord, that we can have the victory if we turn yeah. the battle over to you. So God, we thank you for this time, this urge, Lord, this hour of prayer. Lord, again, all of those that are listening, Lord, that they will even come to you, God, and that they will even submit to you. And Lord, that we will submit to you as one. And that, Lord, we will look for you. We will look for the strategies from you, Lord, the mm -hmm. art of war from you, Lord, to deal with this demon. And we thank you for the victory. And we plead yes. the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Hallelujah. Praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we were praying, the Lord led me to uh, Psalm 45. Psalm 45. Hallelujah. It says that my heart is overflowing with a good thing. I write my composition. Thank you, God. Yes. My tongue is the pen of a ready Yes. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace yes. is poured upon your lips. Mm, Therefore, you. God has blessed you forever. Yes. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, mm -hmm. with your glory and your majesty. Yes. And in your majesty, ride prosperously because mm -hmm. of truth, humility, and righteousness. Yes. And your right hand shall teach you awesome things. Yes. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the kings. In yes. And yes. peoples fall under you. Yes. Your throne, oh God, is forever and yes. ever. A scepter of righteousness yes. is the scepter yes. of your kids. Yes. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Yes. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> He knows how to send the word. Yes. He knows how to send the word. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. We thank you, Father, for the scepter of righteousness yes. because the scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father, for your glory. We thank you, Father, for your majesty. We thank you, Father God, and bless your name, O God. We honor you, O God, for your truth. We honor you, Father God, for humility. We honor you, Father God, for righteousness. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you are teaching us, Father God, through all of this, Lord, that you are teaching us awesome things, oh God, on how to rule, oh God, on how to reign, Father, as your kings and your priests in the earth, oh God. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that we have a love for righteousness and that we hate all wickedness. Yes. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that even tonight and for all of those that are listening and those that will listen to the replay, we thank you, Father God, for the anointing on tonight. We thank you, Father God, for the anointing oil of gladness. We yes. thank you, Father God, Lord, that we will no longer walk around with our heads bowed mm -hmm. down, oh God, mm -hmm. under, Father God, oppression, under racism, mm -hmm. under, Father God, mm -hmm. being shamed, oh God, but we thank you, Father God, because of the mm -hmm. oil of gladness being released mm -hmm. tonight, oh God, Lord, that we walk mm -hmm. with our heads held high because yes. we know who we are. We know who kingdom we are from. We know whose kingdom we represent. Yes. We know who is our God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Thank so we, hallelujah. We thank you for truth. We thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah for humility. We thank yeah. you. Hallelujah for your righteousness. Yeah. We bless thank you, Father. God. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory. Yeah. We give you glory. Yeah. We give you glory. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, because you have inclined your ear, Father God, to this time of converge on tonight, oh God. Well, that you have heard, Father God. Hallelujah, the cries, oh God, of yeah. your people. Lord, that you have found the people, Lord, that who are willing, oh God, and who are not afraid, who are not ashamed, Father God. Hallelujah, to, to talk about, oh God, to take these hard things to you, yeah, oh God. Thank you. The things, Father God, that we have struggled in Father God, for years. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you have found the people, Lord, that will come upon the wall, oh God. Hallelujah, that will cry out, oh God. One that is willing to get down, Father God. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. to reveal the walls of righteousness, the breaches, oh God, to make up yes. the hedges, oh God, that you have found a people, oh God, hallelujah, yes. that are concerned yes. about your kingdom, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. that are concerned about your kingdom being yes. the earth, oh God, yes, hallelujah, Lord. and so we bless you, oh Father, we honor you, oh God, mm. hallelujah, we thank you, Father. hallelujah, hallelujah, that we are in your house, hallelujah, yes. Hallelujah, that we are in our Father's house and that we will represent our Father's house well. Yeah. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, God. Glory, glory. glory. We will represent your house well. Yeah. Hallelujah. We will represent you well. Thank Hallelujah. You, and so we thank you. Hallelujah. For all that you have spoken on tonight, oh God. Yes. We God. thank you, yeah. Father God, for the earth for given us in your word, oh God. Yeah. Hallelujah. A word that we can stand upon. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. A word, Father that will redirect us, Father, hallelujah, to your mm -hmm. truth, that will redirect us, Father God, to humility, that will redirect us, Father God, to your righteousness, Father. Yes. And so we bless you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for humility. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We thank you. Yes. Thank you for humility, oh God. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. We thank you for humility. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our prosperity, hallelujah, comes from the place of humility. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Our prosperity comes from the place of God of truth. Our prosperity comes, Father God, from this place of being righteous. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. For being gentle people. Hallelujah. We won't be harsh. Yes, we know that a lot has gone on in the past couple of months. Oh God. Let us be reminded. We thank you, Father, for reminding us of yes. who we are. Hallelujah. And what we put in this, oh God, we have a son. Hallelujah. We have a sister. Hallelujah. We have a scepter. Rush your mom. Have a scepter. Hallelujah. A scepter of righteousness. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Which is an extension of your kingdom. Hallelujah. So we extend it out tonight, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We extend our scepter out tonight, oh yes, God. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That of authority. Hallelujah. The authority that you have given us, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To judge righteously, Father. Hallelujah. If it does not look like you, hallelujah. It's not righteous. Hallelujah. And we will judge it. Yes. We will no longer, Father God, sit back with our mouth closed, oh God. Yes. And we will open our mouths, oh God. Even as you said, Father God, that, that our tongue, hallelujah, is the pen of a ready writer. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Our tongue is the pen yes. of a ready writer. Yes. Hallelujah. So we Thank have the authority. We have the mark of authority. Hallelujah. Yes. That when we speak your word, oh God, that we have the ability, hallelujah, to write your righteousness. Yes. Yes. We have the mark of authority yes. to write your righteousness yes. in all of Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Cleanse and purify our hearts, oh God. Cleanse and purify, Father God, our souls, oh God. Ah, yes, God. If there's anything, Father God, that is sinning, 
you, Father God, and upon the seat of our soul that does not look like you, does not talk like you, does not think like you, Father God, purify us tonight, oh God. Ah, oh God, our inner man, Father God, our inner heart, oh God, our, our will, our, our understanding, oh God, purify us tonight, Father God. Purify, Father God, our mind, oh God, our knowledge, our thinking, holly, our reflection, and even our memory, oh God. I'm sure time I take Lord, that when we, oh God, fill ourselves with the word, oh God, I, yes, God, that when we begin to pin, oh God, oh when we begin to pen and when we begin to write, Father God, legislative prayers, oh God. We are writing legislative prayers in the earth as it already is in heaven. We thank that we are ready. That we are ready. That we are ready. That we are ready. We are ready, Father, because we have dealt with our inclinations. We have dealt with our conscience. We have dealt with our moral character. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah for purifying us tonight, oh God. For purifying the seat of our appetites. For purifying the seat of our emotions and our passions. For purifying the seat of courage, oh God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh God, because you have given us a responsibility. Oh God, you have said, oh God, ha. Huh? Oh God, that because our heart is overflowing with this good thing, huh? a good thing concerning the king. Hallelujah. That the tongue, that at what we speak, that what we declare, that what we decree, hallelujah, that we will write it. That we will write it in the earth, oh God. Yes, God. Yes, God. That when we see, oh God, unrighteousness, that when we see injustice, that when we see in, in, in inequality, hallelujah, that we have, oh God, a, a tongue, that is the pen of a ready writer to write, oh God, legislatively, Father, what you have decreed to be so, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you would pour your grace upon our lips. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that your grace is poured upon our lips, that when we speak, oh God, Lord, that your grace is there with us. Hallelujah. 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 That your favor is there with us. Ha. Yes, God. That even the way that we speak, oh God, that it is with elegance. Hallelujah. That it is with favor. That it is with acceptance. Because, Father God, it is your grace. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. And so we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For all that you have spoken to us. Hallelujah. For all that you have revealed to us, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Concerning, oh God, your righteousness ha, and your justice, oh God. Hallelujah. That there would be no racism, oh God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That we would deal with it inside of us, mm -hmm. oh God. Hallelujah. And then, Lord, that's mm -hmm. what the authority, mm -hmm. Father God, to speak, oh God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to others, oh God. So we thank you, Father, for that we leave, oh God, mm -hmm. this time. Converge, oh God, hallelujah, sitting, oh God, at your altar, oh God, sitting, Father God, hallelujah. upon, oh God, in front of your word, oh God, to allow, Father God, your word to be like a mirror, mm. that your word would be a mirror, hallelujah, to show us, oh God, hallelujah, those places, oh God, hallelujah, that don't quite look like you, hallelujah, but we thank you, Father, for your grace. Yes, we thank you for your mercy. Yes, we thank you, Father God, Lord, that we honor you on tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for truth. We thank you, Father God, for humility. And we thank you, Father God, for righteousness. For you are a God of justice and righteousness. May it be found in us, oh God. May we find ourselves, Father, Hallelujah. Living in this place, dwelling in the place of righteousness and justice, oh God. We no longer be silent, oh God. Hallelujah. When those things, Lord, that concern you, hallelujah. If it concerns you, Father, it should. We thank you, Father God, for unity. Hallelujah. Unity in the spirit. Hallelujah. Father, make us one. Hallelujah. As you are one. 
the prayer that Jesus prayed in John chapter 17. Hallelujah, that we would be one just as they are one. Hallelujah, may we answer the call. May we make the shift, oh God. May we come into complete alignment, oh God. Hallelujah, with the prayer, oh God, that Jesus prayed for us in the prayer that he is still making intercession, hallelujah, on behalf, oh God, of his body. So we bless you. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. We just thank you all. Hallelujah for coming on with this, this time of converge, the time of worship, the word and prayer. We are truly people that pray. Hallelujah. And we have our heart, our ears to the heart of God to hear what it is that he is saying to us. Yeah. Hallelujah. That we may know, hallelujah, how to pray and how to intercede. That we may know, hallelujah, how to be, oh God, his hands, his feet, his eyes, his ears in the earth. And so we thank you for coming on with us on tonight. Hallelujah. We will be back here on the third Friday night, hallelujah, of June which will be uh, June 19th. Uh, we will be back on June 19th um, at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard. I want to thank Dr. Tara for being with us on tonight, one of our War Room Warrior sisters. Hallelujah, Minister Kina for being with us, also with the War Room Warriors. We wanted to just share some of what God was speaking to us. Hallelujah, concerning, oh God, this, uh, this, this thing called pride. And when, what, it, what it does, if you did not get the opportunity to hear the definition of pride, I encourage you to go back and to, to listen from the very beginning. We love you all. God bless you all. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And we shall see you again on next month, the third Friday night of every month. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>